Hi, I'm Marissa Bingler, Vice President of Clinical Services here at JAG Physical Therapy. As a former competitive field hockey player, I am here today to teach you some injury prevention techniques as it relates to some of the most common injuries in the field hockey sport. The most common cause of injuries in the sport of field hockey are typically non-contact, and they are a direct result of the cutting, pivoting, and landing techniques. We see a lot of ACL injuries, ankle sprains, and sometimes we also come across some spine pain and low back pain as a result of the positioning of holding the field hockey stick and running up and down the field. Ankle sprains typically happen from the cutting, pivoting, and landing movements in the sport of field hockey. I am going to run through some stability and strengthening exercises to prepare all the muscles surrounding your ankle in order to prevent an ankle sprain. Here, Danielle is doing a single leg stance activity. We are challenging her balance, her strength, and stability from her hip down to her ankle by having her stand on one leg and reaching towards various positions guided through the cones. Here, Danielle is doing a staggered single leg deadlift. The purpose of this exercise is to help with posterior chain strengthening. That would include your glutes, your hamstrings, and your calf. It also challenges stability and strength in the lateral ankle as we are putting most of our force through the front leg with this exercise. Here, Danielle is doing a single leg clamshell. We provided a little bit of resistance with the TheraBand. We are working on stability in her stance leg and resistance and strengthening in the leg that's moving. By pulling the resistance band with the moving leg, it is challenging the stance leg to stabilize through her hip and her ankle. Here, Danielle is doing a lateral dip. In this exercise, we are working lateral hip, knee, and ankle stabilizers. The goal with this exercise is to make sure that the knee is not collapsing inward over her foot and that her hips are staying back and chest is staying up. This will help to activate the lateral muscles on the outside of the ankle. I'm now going to demonstrate a single leg hop. I'm going to be going side to side, forward and backwards, clockwise and counterclockwise. This is to work on ankle stability with a dynamic activity. First, I'm gonna start with forward and backward. You can do this for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to do side to side. and clockwise. 